integrity. She and her friends they come aboard, sing and join the fun. Raise the anchor and fly the flag. Ahoy, we say as we start our day. Greet your mate with a secret shake, and we will sail along. Greet your mate with a secret shake. Pirate Penelope, and I am so glad you decided to join me aboard my ship, the SS Integrity. It's August, and what happens in August? We all start thinking about school. School supplies, school clothes, our principals, our teachers, and our friends. And friendship is very, very important when school starts. Learning how to be a good friend, knowing how to keep a good friend, and knowing how to find a good friend, all of these things are important when school starts. So I decided to ask the Friendship Club aboard the SS Integrity to share their thoughts and brainstorm and tell us what it takes to get a friend, to be a friend, and to keep that friend. Who wants to start first? I think loyalty is important. Loyalty is quality that everyone looks for in a friend. A loyal friend is someone who will stick with you no matter what the situation is. Who's next? I love a sensitive friend. A sensitive person feels sadness when you are sad and happiness when you are happy and have succeeded. They also try to relate to or understand your feelings whether they be good, bad, happy, or sad. They aren't jealous of your accomplishments and actually feel just as happy if you are the winner and they are not. Anyone else? I need a friend with a sense of humor. A good friend has the ability to make you laugh during the most difficult situations. They see the glass half full, not half empty. That makes you see it that way too. You have to be honest to be a good friend. Without honesty, there can be no friendship. You can't be a friend to someone you don't trust, whether it be a big whopper or a little white fib, so tell the truth. Yoo-hoo! How about listening? If someone just doesn't hear you when you're trying to tell them something, then it can be hard for them to be a friend that you can really talk to. Listening can be hard when you want to talk and share your stories, but stop, sit back, and open up those ears. Being supportive is important to me. A good friend supports you in your goals, even if they kind of get in the way of theirs. So be a good friend by helping your friend succeed in their plans and projects. A helping hand can go a long, long way and who knows, maybe if you're getting bullied, your friend can make the total difference in how you feel. My best friend is generous. A greedy person does not make a good best friend because they are always thinking about what is in it for them. A good friend does not does think about their goals and wishes, but does not hurt you or your goals in the process. Pirate Penelope, I am so proud of all the members of the Friendship Club for coming up with these great ideas about friendship. We are proud to represent our schools and hope that our thoughts will make for an awesome and amazing school year. So let's see. We thought loyalty and sensitivity were important. And I admit, a good sense of humor can make any bad day a not so bad one. I think it's important to be a good listener, not just to friends, but to teachers, parents, and even our older and younger siblings. 
Just like when our parents and teachers support our ideas by saying, good job, or good thoughts, or I really like that. Our friends who support us are saying to us, I've got your back, and I think your ideas are great. We've all learned the trick to being generous and sharing. For example, if there's one piece of cake left, make sure to cut it in half so both of you can enjoy it. Thanks so much, friends. It really means so much to me for you to share those ideas, and I am sure that it's going to make many, many friends of ours have a successful school year. And that reminds me, Long John Slippers told me that he wanted one of us to read this about friends. A good friend is someone who goes around saying nice things about you behind your back. stage in our production called Coming to the Rescue. I hear we may have some new friends at the park today. That would be great. The more of us, the more games we could play. I wonder what they look like. Me too. What difference does it make? Oh great, another newbie. Someone who doesn't fit in with us, I'm sure. Hi, my name is Riley. What happened to your face? I've never seen anyone that looks like you. I come from across the other side of the neighborhood where everyone looks like me and no one looks like you. But you are all so beautiful and handsome. Well, aren't you the sucker? Why don't you go back to where you came from? You don't belong in the superhero club. There's always room for one more, or two or three. And you're not a superhero if you're a bully. And you're just that, a bully. A superhero has qualities that make them strong, smart, and successful. Each time you add another trait to your superhero cape, such as kindness, compassion, honesty, friendliness, and gratitude, you make your superhero cape stronger and stronger, and that makes you stronger and a real superhero. I would add keeping promises to the cape. That's right, I would also add integrity. I would add being humble. And all of these traits, when added to your cape, give you superhero courage to stand up to those who bully and treat each other badly, whether it be in person or behind their back. So if you would like, we'd love for you to join our club. And if you would like to change your attitude, we'd love for you to join too. I'm sorry to all of you. Can we have forgiveness to the cape since I'm really truly sorry? Yes. yes. The Penelope players did a great job, didn't they? Absolutely. A great lesson about standing up for others and about forgiveness. Sometimes, however, you need even more information about different bullying situations. We went to the library and got several books. I read A Bully-Free Playground by Pamela Hall, illustrated by Bob Ostrom, and Social Bullying by Margaret Webb. 
I was looking for some books for my little cousin and came across one by Catherine Otashi and How to Beat Verbal Bullying by Liz Sonborn. And you can't forget about the middle schoolers and junior high kids. I found What Do You Know About Bullying by Pete Sanders and Stand Up For Yourself and Your Friends by Patty Kelly Criswell. And you can't forget about your parents, teachers, and principals and other trusted adults to steer you in the right way. Have fun aboard the SS Integrity. Kids, look who it is. It's my nephew, Jacques Croissant. He's an enthusiastic explorer. Oh, Aunt Penelope, I'm on my way to discover the elusive, never seen or photographed, sea mermaid fish called the Kiwi. Rumor has it that it was seen off the shores of Gitche Groomy by the big sea washer, and I'm going to find it. Well, we wish you good luck. Good luck. Succeeded in my search. It was rough going, mateys. I was up against so many obstacles, like the sea and the wind and the rain and the strength and cunning of Kiwi and the crabs. Yeah, I almost lost hope as I struggled to find every bit of energy to pull aboard my mighty ship, which I call the good ship Molly Pop. But I did, and I have brought her here today. The one of a kind, never seen or photographed, sea mermaid fish called the Kiwi, valued at $7,890 plus shipping and handling. I didn't mean that. You see, I'm delirious from the lack of sleep and food. But never mind that. I bring to you now sea mermaid oh. fish called kiwi. That's just a goldfish that you can buy at the department store for 50 cents. You're kidding. We're not kidding. So sorry, Jacques Croissant. But better luck next time, right kids? Right! Bye! Bye! Journal of Jacques Croissant. I continue my quest for the elusive fish Kiwi. I found out from my friend Long John Slippers that Kiwi has decided to toy with my exploration by sending me on a scavenger hunt. And if I follow the clues and find her, she has agreed to surrender. The quest begins. Day one. I was sent this first clue by Beatrice. Clue one. You will find clue two where the orange things grow. Clue two. You will find clue three where the metal is rusted. Clue three, you will find clue four where the critters are clustered. Clue four, you will find clue five where the slide is huge. Clue five, you will find clue six where the houses are small. Clue six. You will find clue seven where the haystack is tall. Clue seven. You will find clue eight where the water is clear. Clue eight. You will find clue nine Fairy Nell's Garden.
Fishing.